Now to the story of two Fraser Valley women whose lives have been forever changed by the disease. Two weeks ago, they were admitted to the hospital suffering from COVID. The strangers quickly bonded, both spending time in ICU, both fearing for their lives. CTV Shannon Patterson spoke with them about how their newfound friendship helped them heal. As you can see, we're sitting next to each other and we get to hug each other for the resigned day. Two weeks ago, Carrie McKay and Anne Cly were strangers. And now we're COVID sisters. I'm COVID Carrie and she's Corona Anne. <laughs> the Fraser Valley women were both admitted to the COVID ICU at Abbotsford Regional Hospital on January 31st. <laughs> I would go like convulsion coughing, gasping for air. You think, am I going to die? Because I couldn't breathe. Like, I thought this was it. I'm done. Like, I'm absolutely going to die right now. The ICU roommates decided to share their COVID battle on social media. It's about awareness. Like, you know, there's so much ignorance out there right now. I try to mix it up so some parts are funny. And, um, but I wanted people to see the serious stuff because, um, they just don't know. And I'm having a good time in here. Practicing. <laughs> over 10 days in the ICU, they bonded over breathing tubes, broke into song. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. And celebrated getting back on their feet. I'm going to cry a little bit because she has been my rock. We've been each other's rock. I don't know what I'd do without her. I honestly don't. She's been so supportive. And I don't think, honestly, that I could have made it through this without her. All right, getting ready to leave the ICU. Dun, dun, dun. Now out of the ICU, the new best friends are days away from being released. Once we're actually off the oxygen, they're going to watch us for a day and see what happens. And if everything goes good, we get to go home. Yeah. And we're so thrilled to be home to our families Yay. and our dogs. <laughs> <laughs> they won't be roommates anymore, but... We'll be COVID sisters forever. For life. For life. Bonded forever. <laughs> Shannon Patterson, CTV News.